All right, what's up, you guys? It's Rachel. How are you all doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. I am finally back in the United States. I've been spending some time and being quarantined. Um, technically, I will be posting this video three weeks or like four weeks later. I am currently not quarantined anymore, which is great. So I've been spending some time with my friends and family and all of that. But anyways, let's move on and talk about today's video. For today's video, I'm going to finally. I I know so many of you guys actually requested for this video. I will be talking about these Dr. Martin platforms that I own and I'm going to explain how you break into your Dr. Martins because it's a struggle and my platforms, I mean on the camera it looks totally fine but I've been wearing them very often so there are some creases and some dust because I recently wore these to this hiking trail place to take pictures, you know, uh, take cute pictures for Instagram but um, since these are leather material, I think it's fine but you guys get the point. I'm going to explain how how I break into my Dr. Martens and such as that. So let's start this video, shall we? All right, so first of all, let's talk about these platforms that I own at this moment. Oh, let's ignore that, but I own these 1461 Bex Smooth Leather platforms. These were around, I technically bought these from South Korea, so the price range is probably different, you know. I think these cost around 130 bucks. Well, that's expensive, but compared to the price I paid for in South Korea, it's pretty decent in my opinion, but still expensive though, because these shoes are heavy as Bug. All right, so let me explain how I break into my Dr. Martin. So you basically need two products. I recommend you guys to have a pair of, I would say, ankle socks. These aren't that thick though, in my opinion, but I'm totally okay with these. By the way, I got this from South Korea, so I'm not sure if they will have this on Amazon, but I'll just show you guys how this product looks like. So these are basically for your ankle. Whenever you're wearing boots, um, high heels, sneakers, you just use this padding product for your ankle. Blisters, blisters, bruises, or whatever you get. These will prevent you from getting bruises. Bruises. What the fuck? Wait, hold up. What? Something is wrong with me today. My English is not functioning very well. I mean, this happens all the time, so whatever, but okay, bruises. Bruises. Yeah, bruises. I got it right, I think. So it looks like this. Loki looks like... <laughs> Anyways, I'm not gonna talk about it, but hopefully the camera can catch it. Let's see. Uh, yes, okay, so it looks like that. It's in this beige color, and what you do is basically you stick this right here on the back of your platform or whatever shoes you own. Boots, platform, sandals, anything. So this padding basically has this padding right here. It is very soft. Once you take this part off, it has the sticky part right here, and all you need to do is just get your shoes or whatever you own and just stick it right in there. And once you do that, you're done. When I first tried on my platforms, I, here's the thing, my left ankle was bleeding low key, which was, it was terrible. I couldn't even walk. But once I put on this padding on the back of my platform, no more. Like it doesn't happen anymore and it is very comfortable. And by the way, for the people who are wondering, are these Dr. Martin platforms comfortable? I would say no. It's still, it's been how long? It's been nearly like I think five months since I got these platforms, but it takes time. It definitely takes time because these platforms are super heavy and plus it is made out of this leather material and it is very stiff in my opinion. So it will take time for you guys to get used to them. But is it worth it? Definitely. I seriously recommend you guys to get a pair of platforms or whatever, sandals, any type of shoes from Dr. Martens because I feel like these are very versatile. You can pair them with anything. Like I showed you guys previously, like once you, oh, by the way, I just noticed that these aren't, what the fuck? This is black and this is gray. Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. What the hell? Sorry about the sudden angle change and such as that. I had to switch my SD card because 
it was full for some reason but uh, anyways i'm back where was i so i was talking about these ankle socks basically what i'm trying to say is that it is necessary to own cute vintage looking socks with your platform because they go very well unless you're not into vintage styles but like just look at it these black platforms and these vintage looking socks like bruh I love vintage outfits but let's move on and talk about this other product that I really recommend you guys to have because here's the thing these platforms are very heavy very sturdy not flexible at all because it's made out of leather but what I'm trying to show you guys is that you should definitely own these shoe horn or shoe spatula whatever you call it I got this actually. I didn't purchase this. When I purchased my platform in South Korea, they gave this to me for free. And it says Dr. Martin's right here. Hopefully you guys can see. I'm going to wait until the camera focuses on the spatula itself. Let's see. Yes, you guys can see it right there. It's probably because of the light. Anyways, you guys get the point. It is very important to own these spatulas shoehorns whatever you call it because since these shoes are very sturdy it is hard when you first try on them and if you don't have any of this oh my god don't try on your platforms without these spatulas because you're gonna hurt your fingers for sure even if you don't have your shoe lace tied up like this it's still going to hurt your fingers and i don't want that to happen to you guys if that makes sense but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this informative video i hope you guys found it helpful i love helping you guys and that's why i filmed this video and so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did feel free to give it a thumbs up if you want to though and feel free to leave any questions down in the comment section below for me i would love to help you guys because i understand the struggle i've also been one of those people whenever i purchase new shoes or whatever i always go on instagram i always go on youtube i always find these type of youtube videos very helpful and that's one of the reasons why i filmed it for you guys and so yeah basically my point is that i hope you guys love this video because i love filming it and if you guys have any questions like i mentioned before feel free to ask me don't be afraid it could be about sizing it could be about this price range such as that so yeah you guys get the point i'm gonna go now because i am very hungry i haven't eaten anything so far and it is almost 12 p.m i'm gonna go eat lunch and i will talk to you guys later i hope you're having a wonderful time so far thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you in my next video bye mm -hmm.